Recently there's been some uh, discussion about the longevity of plastic fletching jigs and I thought, although I'm not an expert on fletching jigs, over the years we've collected a few uh, given to us by archers who've either packed it in or retired or or passed on. Uh, so I've just dug out a few just to see what they look like in years gone by. The first one is an Edgecliff fletching jig and it's got some letter with it which I'll explain in a minute and this one is made as you can see out of metal which has got a nice finish to it and it does uh, three fletches each of these clips are well, very stiff now pull back fletch goes in does a three three fletch so nicely chromium plated no plastic they probably hardly had plastic then and a clip then holds it in position and that came with a letter from E.W. Tunnicliffe Limited, manufacturers of all types of feathered goods, manufacturers and suppliers of all types of archery feathers cut and uncut in all the popular patterns, all first class quality and finish, fletching jigs etc. Uh, so this was the Edgecliff fletching jig as ordered by uh, DJ Green in 1957. So that's quite an old but a very very good quality jig. So that's that one. The next one we've got here is a uh, Hoyt Tri Heli Fletch and again comes with complete instructions. Uh, it's similar to this one, I seem to have two of them. Uh, it's still a metal construction, uh, hasn't got the uh, chromium plated finish, obviously a little bit cheaper, but it's a, it's a three fletch jig. Each clip comes out, fletch goes in, goes back in like that. So again a very sturdy metal jig that uh, seems to have stood the test of time. The next one I've got here is uh, a Sherwood jig. It looks a very early Sherwood jig. It's all uh, aluminium. Could almost be a prototype I expect. The design has changed a little bit over the years. That's the current type, now anodized and a little bit smarter looking but basically the same the same jig. The next one along is the uh, American Bitsenberger jig, a uh, very early model. Seems to be missing its uh, clamp which was uh, attached with a magnet. Uh, you can adjust the angle of the fletches with this uh, little lever here and the Bitsenberger was regarded as the Rolls-Royce of, of fletching jigs. Very very sturdy item. The next one we've got, which is this one, is an exact 3-4. So it will do three or four inch fletches. Again, a magnetic clamp, a very sturdy metal item, and the feather goes in the clamp, fits on there with the magnet, arrow up through here. And that's another jig, again, another very sturdy metal jig. But obviously metal jigs are expensive which is why companies have now gone to producing uh, plastic jigs which are unlikely to be lasting or as long as these and uh, uh, so that's just a few jigs that we've got we've accumulated over the years